A uh, couple of updates on the all metal panter rotor. I've discovered these uh, Festool clamps fit perfectly in the slot. Uh, this is a t clamp that is meant to go with the track saw, I think. It is unfortunately kind of expensive, but uh, it works really well for holding down the stock. The other thing is, here's the depth stop for the uh, panter rotor and uh, you have to uh, tighten the screw down here so it's a bit awkward and Coldeep's come up with a better one consisting of this thing here that screws on from the top here and these two bits here and here which attach with these knobs here and he's even got a little thingy here for putting a scale ruler on it so I'm going to try to mount that but I have to drill a hole through here That was the pilot hole, and now for the actual size hole. I just had to take this part back off to get the nut in here and now I can put this on here which is for the scale. And now I can put the scale on and uh, with this against here I want to get the uh, zero edge right on the edge here so that the scale indicates how much plunge depth I've actually got between the stops. The way to use this stop, uh, right now I have it set for two centimeters worth of travel. So for cutting tenons, I move it all the way back, and then I can use that. I use the end of the rotor as my reference point and clamp the rotor in place, and then I know I can move two centimeters forward to cut a two centimeter long tenon on the end of that stock. <laughs> 